What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be working on my radiator finally. The Integra. I've been procrastinating a little bit on it. It's a little chilly, cloudy, moist, but I figured let's get it done. Alright guys, first things first, I want to I wanna remove the hoses out of the way. I will be doing this one-handed. <laughs> and I'm not scared to lose any fluids. I have a whole nother gallon. Somebody's with me. Yo! It's all a 10 millimeter. Oh, you mean 10 millimeter. Hi, right, boy! Okay, so the next step is to remove uh, the connections from the fans and the off the radiator. I'm gonna just take off the uh, this little bracket that way I can put it on the new one actually no, it's still gonna be on the same radiator fan assembly so but we'll make it we'll make it a lot easier to remove because I don't want to break the clips got other connections on Side. That one right there. Just press on the clip at the bottom and then pull. Alright, now let's see what else we gotta do. Alright, so what I'm working on right now is I'm trying to remove this water shield 
water uh, engine protector thing so that it doesn't splash, splash guard, whatever you want to call it. Time to remove it. Don't need it. Doesn't really cover my filter, but just trying to remove that real quick. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to save as much antifreeze as I can. Moving the, the drain. Right there. All right, guys. It became nighttime. Dark as hell. Got my little light. Uh, radiator is out. Uh, the, it actually took longer than I expected. It was uh, it was actually not that easy. Especially because I'm automatic, I have more hoses. Um, so yeah, basic rundown. Uh, let's flip this. Let's see. That hose comes out. Bottom radiator hose comes out. And then the hose next to it. That one comes out. Yep. And then a couple more switches actually have to be slid off. For instance, this one, you need to remove it off the bracket because it's on the motor, on the fan assembly and then same thing over here this one gets taken off off the radio off the fan assembly condenser doesn't get touched so now to remove the fan assembly off the radiator all you gotta do is take a couple bolts off one there one there a couple there couple at the bottom and then you should be able to pop it off and there she is <laughs> 